You know, lately I've been suffering from anxiety a lot. We live in a crazy complicated world. A lot of questions that don't have answers. A lot of scientific problems that don't have solutions. So, I decided to take a stab at it to try to help us all out. I'm sure we've all been working on this problem. And I think I've done it. I think we can cross this off the list. The question is, the question was, what happens when you combine these two thingies? Let's check out these builds real quick so we can see where we're coming from. This is my Pi Boy, Raspberry Pi 3, a couple heat sinks, active cooling. I've got some videos up on my channel about it. If you want to see the internals, the uh, surgery video is okay, and the others, yeah. So the notable features for this for now are that the form factor of this, the nostalgia value is really high for that. So I love that. And uh, the shoulder buttons, I went with aesthetics over function here. And the fact that they don't protrude from the back. So I can set this uh, flat on any surface. Those were important things for me. Um, they do work, uh, but a good word to describe these after a while is just crampy. <laughs> it's very, very crampy. And over here we have my free play uh, CM3 plus, slim, blah, 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 whatever I called it. And no issues like that. These are very comfortable. Uh, no crying about those. Uh, the screen, the overall visible area is larger than this one because I had to overscan this a bit to compensate for me uh, breaking things. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The module is great. We have the CM3, CM3 plus, maybe later on CM4, right? How cool would that be? If it was electrically compatible and all that. Um, so yeah, so what happens if I smush those together? This is what happens. This is my free play pocket. Right here. You might have noticed that free play kit now the board is too big to fit inside of a Game Boy Pocket. That's right, unless you make a hacky slashy uh, mess, like me. So I kept the free play screen. We have the regular controls, PSP 1000 analog sticks, the power slider sitting kind of in the center, because if you rock it this way, it mimics the normal power slider on the free play kit. And if you toggle it this way, it kills the battery. The battery kill toggle. Uh, we got this, a 3D printed vent cartridge, speakers in a normal spot, battery light indicator, a system light indicator, HDMI out, SD card, and the volume wheel. Power in and USB in. Brightness wheel. And last is, is the shoulder buttons. So I had some big plans for the shoulder buttons. One, I wanted them to be functional more than normal. I wanted them to not be in the way or around when I don't want them. So I don't want to be feeling them when I'm playing Game Boy games. I don't want them to be sitting on uh, messing up the device when I set it down. And I don't want them to be too ugly. So let's take a look at those. Well, they don't look that cool and stuff. Yeah. Hold on, watch this. Mm hmm. How about now? My man. <laughs> I couldn't wait to show these off. And it's hard to not do this all day. <laughs> I'm happy with how they turned out. They really fit everything I wanted. You know, they're out of the way when I don't need them. They're in the way when I do want them. Uh, just, man, I'm so happy with this. Everything about this build is a prototype -y build. So, you know, iterative design. If I were to do another pocket build, I would improve everything slightly. But as it stands, I am happy with these. Very functionally fine. Ah, glad that they came out that way. So now let us look at, uh, I don't know, play a game play a game and then uh, wrap things up.
play a little bit. It's not gonna be, I'm gonna watch two screens, three screens at the same time. So hopefully it's not gonna be too jerky or anything. I think the last thing about this build is the dock. So I just got this model in Thingiverse. I'll link that in the description. Printed it two centimeters wider to make room for a four port USB hub. So now we have power in and a USB hub all in one nice little dock. Let me know if I forget anything. I think that's about it. And thanks a lot for watching.